Hello there. This lesson will help you to speak and write correct English. We will look at 50 of the most common mistakes made by learners of English and how to avoid them. We're going to cover errors in subject verb agreement, question formation, irregular verbs, the very important tenses, modal verbs, conditionals, adjectives, prepositions, articles, and more. We have a lot to learn, so let's get started. All right, let's begin with subject verb agreement. Here's our first sentence. He had two sisters. Is that correct? No, it should be he has two sisters. The rule is that if the subject is I, you, we, they, or any other plural noun, then we use the verb in its present tense form and we don't add S to the verb. But if the subject is he, she, it, or any singular noun, then we add S to the verb. So what about this sentence? Many people likes to go on vacation in the summer. Here we should say many people like to go on vacation in the summer. We have a plural subject, many people, so the verb should not have an S. Next one, Jacob and Sophie lives in Los Angeles. The correct sentence is Jacob and Sophie live in Los Angeles. Even though Jacob is an individual and Sophie is also one individual, together Jacob and Sophie are a plural subject, so we don't add S to the verb. Sentence number four is, there is ten apples in the basket. It should be, there are ten apples in the basket. The subject of this sentence is not there. That's just a dummy subject. The real subject is the phrase, ten apples, so the verb should be, are. If there was only one apple, you would say there is an apple in the basket. Number five, everyone know that the sun rises in the east. So what's the correction? Everyone knows that the sun rises in the east. This is because everyone is actually a singular subject. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, everyone refers to all the people, so it's a plural, but it's not. In English grammar, the pronouns that you see on the screen are all singular. They are not plural. Keep that in mind. Let's move on now to our next topic, question formation. Here's the first one. You went to the beach yesterday? That is a common mistake. You should ask, did you go to the beach yesterday? In questions, we put the helping or auxiliary verb first. This can be a verb like be, have, can, will, would, etc. If there's no helping verb, we add do. Now, I've said did here because this sentence talks about the past, yesterday. After the auxiliary verb comes the subject, you, then the main verb in its base form, go. So, did you go to the beach yesterday is correct. Next sentence, where I can buy a cell phone charger. Same mistake. The correct question is, where can I buy a cell phone charger? This is just like the previous question, but it has a question word. So we put that at the beginning. Sentence number eight is, do you know who is that woman? Wrong. It should be, do you know who that woman is? If you start a question with, do you know, may I ask, can you tell me, etc., then we call it an indirect question, which is more polite. For this type of question, we don't change the word order. We first put the question word, then the subject, and then the auxiliary verb if we have one, and then the main verb. All right, let's now turn to errors in the tenses. Our first sentence is, I am working as a teacher. This is wrong. I work as a teacher is correct. Use the present simple tense to talk about your occupation or other permanent situation. For example, Shoba lives in New Delhi. You only use the present continuous tense, that is an ing form, for actions that are happening right now. I am talking. They are walking in the park. He is eating a sandwich, etc. Here's a similar error. I am having a large family. You should say, I have a large family. 
Because again, this expresses a general situation, not an action that I'm doing right now. What about this sentence? I don't think she is recognizing me. It should be, I don't think she recognizes me. Even though this might be happening in the moment of speaking, with some verbs, we don't use ing forms. Instead, we prefer to use the present simple tense with these because they're not physical actions. Such verbs are called state verbs because they express a state or situation. You see some of the common uh, ones on the screen. Remember that we use them in the present simple tense. Next sentence, Lucas is working here for three years. The correct form is 